You're a realtor. Your job is to be outdoors, networking, selling homes, doing what you do best. Your job is not to do all of this. Hire someone. Trust me, it will pay pay off for itself. Nice to see you, Jackie. And um, <laughs> nice to see you, Tristan. <laughs> Jackie, Jackie Patel Trenton is a, is a friend of mine. She's out of the Silicon Valley area around there. And she's in real estate. She's with EXP. She also has a virtual assistant company. And we've also partnered together to, um, to do a virtual assistance for video editors, social media, in that sense. And she's an, also an avid Chime user. She runs a team out of there. And um, she helps out with a lot of these webinars that we do with Chime. And uh, Jackie Trenton, I met back in 2018, 19, around the eight, must have been 18, 17, maybe even, 17, when maybe. Travis, Tom, and I had oh. an event in Las Vegas called Social Storm, where we broke down mm-hmm. Facebook and some other socials on the back end to <laughs> monetize them for, on, for online lead generation. And so Trenton and I became friends since then. And then he recently left his current job and then came to me. And now he, he's wow. a director of technology for Tristan and Associates. So wow. his expertise, he can build out Facebook ads, lead ads, retarget. And um, it, it's just really, really talented when it comes to that. So I'm and, assuming he's going to come to SocialCon too in April? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's coming. We're running a, a Facebook lead ad webinar too in about two weeks so he's oh, nice. he's the one running that and and for those of you who don't know brett brett's also a longtime friend we actually met yes. through COVID and realized that we had never met in person which is crazy until he told me uh he's an avid flyer and that's why we all love his hat because every <laughs> once in a while he sends some crazy pictures of him surviving some crash <laughs> which is crazy <laughs> um he sold his real estate company a while back, and now he now he runs a team with his wife out of Alaska. They cover different areas, and he's a chime master and also a coach and obviously a friend of ours who co-hosts this. So there you go. If you're new to this area, these are my friends, and we're just having fun while teaching you chime. And I do want to say shout out to my peeps right here, also Aubrey and Launch. Happy New Year, guys. Um, You're always there for us. I'm so grateful for you guys as well. Always taking care of business. Thank you. (laughs) All right. We got that out of the way. Let's talk about Jumpstart. How do we look to Chime to leverage it to help us grow through 2023? What does that look Uh, like for you, Junkie? Well, let me share my screen um, and talk to you guys if my voice is raspy. That's because guess what? My kids were sick. So I went to took care of my adult kids and here I am like mother's job anyway Brett just 101 hey, thanks Jackie for giving me more to look forward to another tip I appreciate for you. that <laughs> all right let's dive into this all right so we're talking about leveraging chime at the highest level you guys I didn't get there just easily it took me some time to get here but I want to talk to you guys about smart plans if you're not getting success with your smart plans there's a problem with that wouldn't you agree, Brett? Um, totally want to make sure that you have very high open rates, you guys, because what you say in these smart plans matter, right? And I don't, I always talk to realtors and I tell them, don't keep them as um, very default type of smart plans. So our smart plans are, you know, with the different pipelines that we have, we spend, we send specific smart plans to different pipelines. Um, and these are some of the pa- plans that we have, like aggressive past client or past appointment, anything like that. And if you see that we've got the converted pipelines at a 57% now, obviously my numbers might be low compared to Brett or compared to someone else out there, but you want to be higher than a certain range. And you know some of the numbers are very low, like look at sellers. Sellers obviously in this market don't wanna sell, right? So anything we send to seller for information they're not that aggressive in opening it up. Again, I'm sure it's because of the market, but we still do connect with them and we still continue to build the relationship. And one thing I always tell people, you guys, is that it's not about dialing and just, you know, be repetitive about dialing. 
If your ISC can't have a conversation with your lead because they're voicemails, that's a different story. But I like to not push con- continuously for that appointment. I like to mm-hmm. push for building a relationship, Tristan, because mm-hmm. I think it's so oh, important yeah. to build. Yeah, our, our realtors, our business is all about networking, building relationships, right, guys? So why would you just push the appointment for the sale? I mean, I was talking to a realtor yesterday and they're like, well, I want my ISA to dial X amount of calls on a dialer, a three ring, four ring, five ring dialer. And I'm like, wait a minute, are you trying to build a relationship or you just want to slam ma'am, let's go, let's go, let's go. What is the objective here? You know, what do you want out of this? So it's so important to make sure. And the reason why I'm talking a little bit more about the, the dialing part of it is because again, smart plans, when you see open rates as such, you want to pick up the phone and dial. Whether it's you, your ISA, your um, you know realtors on your team, whoever it is, someone needs to pick up the phone and dial. I want to talk a little bit about how to jumpstart your newsletters. So in order to jumpstart your newsletters, our database managers and our graphic designers have created this. And again, like, you know, the reason why we have these smart plan, I mean, these newsletters and having such high open rates is look at the call to action we have, right? Why pre-approval is key to home buyers in 2023. You want to send and have a call to action immediately, like mm. tags. You, I mean, look at the source, guys. My source is keeping current matters. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I am just, and I'm giving the source credit, obviously, right? But at the same time, I want to make sure <clears throat> that I'm sending relevant information to my leads so they can you actually, you know, open um, the newsletter. And then after they open the newsletter, guess what? I get a notification that, hey, this one did do this. So who gets, who calls those leads? Just to say, hey, happy new year. How are you doing? That's it. I'm not pushing for the appointment, you guys. I'm just calling them to say, hi, hello, how are you? If not me, then who? My ISAs Mm -hmm. do that, okay? Another thing to jumpstart your chime is market update reports. Brett, I know you send out market updates, right? Tristan, I know your team does this as well, right? Sending out market update relevant information. Who's the source here? Altos. Altos Research, right? I mean, I'm I'm just sending out. But again, my call to actions are very important. And when they look, I remember um, just about a week ago, I got a call during the holidays. And I'm like, dang, do I have to pick up this call? I did. (laughs) And (laughs) guess what the lead office, my daughters, come on, you know, (laughs) not feeling as well. But anyway, what did I do at that point? I went ahead and I picked up the call. And the guy literally said, I love these that you send out. Look, we have a lot of engineers here and they love to read data as such. And, you know, Mm -hmm. um, sending them graphs and charts and information about, you know, numbers that drives them. Right. And so these are some of the things that we always send out um, and they are more attracted to opening it up and telling them, hey, when I'm ready to sell, I'm going to give you a call. I don't need more than that, right? Um, I connected with them. So what are call to actions? Basically, what are you asking them to do? Action they can take and your contact information. That's it. It's nothing fancy. Simple, straightforward. Call to action. You're Thank asking you. them. Uh, hmm. Question. Was your newsletter created in a template and saved inside of Chime? Or how does that work when you're sending that out? So our... Um, our graphic designer, which is from Ascent, which was a assisted company, they um, have amazing social media managers and Ascent, um, I mean, um, graphic designers. They created this in um, one of the, I think it's Canva, if I'm not mistaken. So they create this and then they, oh, um, Canva. yeah, so they send it to my database manager and all she does is uploads it in um, China. Very simple. It's not rocket science to do this. Um, But again, like I always talk about one thing, Tristan, and I always say, you're a realtor. Your job is to be outdoors, networking, selling homes, doing what you do best. Your job is not to do all of this. So if not you, then who? Who's going to take that place, that position? Hire someone. Trust me, it will pay, pay off for itself because this is the stuff that I don't even know how to do, guys. 
<laughs> I don't even pay attention to this. Set it and forget it with a human. That's what I say. Um, okay, so December email open rates. Like we know December is a laid back month, right? Um, people on vacation, whatnot. We had 40% open rates of our emails, right? And I usually get between 40 and 45. In a good market, I'll get 50 to 55, 60% open rates at times. But this was pretty surprising to me that in December, we had 40%. Hey, Jockey, Jockey yeah. quick question for you. Was your, um, was your newsletter saved as a template in Chime or how do you send that out? Um, good question. I can ask my database manager. See, I don't know this stuff. I don't even, Tristan, Brett, I, and even, um, you know, Trenton, I don't touch my database. Sorry. My guess is, my guess is that it's, uh, it's MailChimp. That's my first guess from looking at it. That would be, that would be and my first guess as well. You. I don't yeah. use MailChimp, but yeah, that could be, you know. Oh, we we're both wrong, or, Tristan. Or constant content. Or, but we both suck, Brett. We'll go back. All right, no, Jockey, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll find out for you, though. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Okay, so email success replies, you guys. How many of you guys are getting email success replies? This is where Brett thrives, sending out emails and sending out smart plans. But what we did different, Brett, is we actually, you know, kind of sort of made it our own in a way, like as if I'm talking to a buyer or a seller. Mm -hmm. And I kind of made it in my own voice, so to speak. Like when I'm talking to a buyer or a seller, what do I say to them? And that's what I put in my smart plans because I know those scripts are working for me. I know they'll work for someone else, right? So mm -hmm. I usually, whatever I put it, I have my eyes um, say the same scripts. And when I'm talking to a buyer and I question them, why now, what motivates you and asking them key questions I always put it in our smart plan because I'm literally talking to them about the market today, not the market yesterday, not the market in the future. What's happening today? What are we seeing today? Right. So this is, you know, and then we get the replies. Appreciate the email. Please continue to, continue to send me blah, blah, blah. Right. So they're responding back to us. Even here. Can we talk now? We have a pre-approval letter, you know. So these people are talking back to you and that's what you want your database to do is talk back to you. Make mm -hmm. sense, guys? I so far, so good. Yeah. Okay, cool. A lot of questions about AI conversations. I love this because I don't do it again. It is my database manager that's in position to go ahead and talk to these people when they do come in, but I do get them. Do you remember the time, Tristan, when I always used to say, I get these messages on my phone and I reply right away. Well, I do get I them on remember. my phone. Yeah, but I don't reply to them anymore. My database manager, when she's working, she replies to them. Mm. Um, I reply to them if I see anything coming in after hours or, you know, someone wants to talk to me. Um, I automate them too. We do mass um, AI messages, right? We send that out all the time. Um, but we do get, we do get um, you know, information like, hey, my visas were approved. I can now buy a home. You know, I'm looking in San Jose, um, you know, currently a church can't talk right now, you know, things like that. They are responding, guys. If you don't get responses back, that's when you have problems. The only way you're going to jumpstart into 2023 is think about what you want to say to your audience, right? What is the message you're trying to give to them? When you know what you're trying to say to them, that's when it'll make sense to them to reply back to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I think part of that has to do with identifying your audience. And you did that so well when it goes back to your newsletter and you're saying, hey, right. a lot of a lot of my audience, they're engineers, they're um, software engineers, computer science. And so yeah. I'm talking to them like they listen. And that's important right. because you you've identified that from the very beginning and said, this is my audience. Exactly. And we don't do that enough. We, we don't do that at all, actually. A lot of agents just <clears throat> kind of just throw stuff out there and say, well, let's see who comes back. Exactly. And that's where the problem lies, is that if you're just going to sit there and automate everything, um, it's okay to automate. I'm not saying don't automate, because you don't have time to sit back there every day and do it. But automate in a way that is going to make a difference to your audience, right? Just don't automate for the sake of doing it, really. 
um, make sense of it, right? Um, and then put call to actions and things of that sort. Even in our um, AI conversations, we're asking questions. I learned one thing um, a long time ago from a very dear friend of mine who's right here, ask questions, always ask questions. Tristan always said, you know, ask in one of his webinars, he's taught us that, listen, ask questions because when you are asking questions, you are in control of the conversation. When you don't ask questions, you're not in control. They're asking you and they're telling you with my ISAs, I do the same thing is that when they ask me, when they ask questions to our leads, they're in control of the conversation. So they say, all right, great. We will give you a call back in two weeks. Have a wonderful day. They're not saying, hey, can I call you back in two weeks? They're going to say, no, I'll call you. You don't want that. They're never going to call you. Right. Hey, so hey you Jonky, on your newsletters, what are, what are like the subject lines that you use? Newsletters on so my subject line, basically what I use is single family home in Fremont, question mark, um, single family home market update, question mark. So I always put a question mark asking them, hey, are you, I'm not saying, are you interested? They're not going to open it. I'm just saying San Jose, single family home market update report, question mark, right? Um, so we keep it very generic to the point, or we say um, market update report San Jose, you know? Um, even in these newsletters, we really don't, um, the question, the, the, the subject line is always looking to sell your home before the holidays or looking, looking for some more information or home values in your area. And that's when we send out sell your home before the holidays, or should I rent or buy? Simple as that. Put that title out there. Should I rent or buy? Why is a pre-approval needed? So basically on this one, we say pre-approval in 2023, you know, things like that, question mark, right? And when you and ask a question in your subject line, they'll open it up. And you send those out monthly usually, right? Weekly, daily. Weekly, daily, really? Weekly, daily, Bobby. Yep, I do it weekly, daily, because you know why? Um, I have someone in place to do this, right? I have my graphic designer, my social media manager to, to design this and send it out and it, I do it every other day um, and I do it consistently. That's the key to this consistency. And I do it right. every day. Junkie, where, where do you go? Because I, I love that. I love that your communication to your audience feels like a, a YouTube video, feels like a, a thumbnail, like a, mm. the, underneath the thumbnail, the title. Um, Brett, now I'm thinking like Daryl, right? Like this looks right. like like a YouTube yeah. uh, link, a title. So where do you get your titles from? Do you go to Google, find out what's trending? What does that look like? I don't even do that, Tristan. I use I just whatever comes over here, I just put it out there. I, I'm sorry, that's the truth. I don't <laughs> meanwhile, Tristan and I like overanalyze everything. I know. My <laughs> husband does that. So like, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna so, steal so Tristan, your, your screen. Go ahead. What's Brett. that? I'm going to steal uh, the screen really quick to show people yeah. when when they're thinking like, how do I how do I come up with an idea? Uh, so Tristan, while you're typing that, my my YouTube video that's going to be going live soon. This is actually the thumbnail from it behind me. Oh wow! Wow! And it's called the thousand dollar cup of coffee. Oh, <laughs> I like. It. I already love the title, man. Oh wow. A thousand uh, okay. of a cup of coffee. Give me, um, give me a city, Jackie, and I want to see Three that months. Right Three months. Three months. With, right. one, with one E. Yeah, I suck. There okay, there we go. Should that I rent or buy a house in Fremont? There you go. Yeah, this is right, right off the bat. For. Right here. So yep. for people that are wondering, how the hell do I create a lot of content for newsletters? Well, Google's helping you out. It's telling you. Uh, these are questions people commonly search on Google. So what we do for YouTube, Brett and I, this is what we use as our titles. And this is also what we use for our newsletters. So if you want to be more enticing for those people listening in, say, how do I do this? Well, is Fremont a good place to buy a house? That's what people are typing in on Google in your area. You want to click on that. Now you have some content that you can borrow and not plagiarize, right? But borrow for ideas and then say, hey, I got some ideas from, from money or make them a source. 
you can go to how much money do I need to live in Fremont? The same thing here. And now you have stats, right? And you can- This is so there. cool. So, Thank you. That's how, that's how, for people listening in, it's like, well, how do I get there? That's how you do it. So I just want to add that yep. monkey because I love where you're going. That is so cool. Guess what, Tristan? You told me this year is going to be about digital, uh, you know, just being on social. I need to step up my game. So guess what? I'm going to do that. This is awesome. Thank you, guys. I love that because now this can be on YouTube. Ding, ding, we're learning just... from each other. Yeah, yeah. we're learning from you here. Take, 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 my, take notes, please. <laughs> All right, guys. So All right, back wait. to Junkie. Back to me. Spotlight on me. No, I'm kidding. Um, all right, guys. So newsletters, we're done with that. Market reports, we're done with that. Um, I was right here on type of smart plans. Brett, I love the smart plans you have because a lot of a lot of people come to me saying, Hey, I use Brett's smart plans. And I'm like, oh wow, that's awesome. But what that made me realize is that I need to be a little bit more aggressive in my smart plans to my clients or my leads, because I wasn't. And this was about eight, nine months ago. And then we started uh, having putting the word aggressive follow-up appointment, appointment contact, new leads, aggressive smart plans, and you know, really making them aggressive in a sense where we don't do it immediately. We do it between one and seven days. And that includes a text message, an email, and a call, right? And that helped us a lot because... Um, we were not getting a lot of responses, I think, two months ago with just calling, um, with just um, calling them. Yeah, we were getting a lot of voicemails. And so we started texting. Um, we started doing, you know, interims of 15, 20 minutes, text, call, email. And that helped us a lot. We had 37 responses in one day just from texting and that helped us a lot to create these different smart plans, right? I mean, to create these yeah, smart plans here. So that brings me to 2022 data. Look, if you want to aggressively pipe it down and really help, um, you know, your Chime, help your business grow through Chime, we had 4,200 leads, probably low on the totem pole compared to Brett and Tristan. But out of that, I was sharing this with Tristan last week. We had 443 appointments that my team set. And from there, we converted 107 and closed 57. Okay. So these were the stats that we have. And these are the homes that we sold. So yeah. if you want to jumpstart your chime, follow these simple things like pipelines, organizing your pipelines, smart plans, talk to them as if you want, as if you were the buyer or the seller. Um, Newsletters, create, give them content, relevant content, and put strong subject lines. Um, and that's about it. Database, ISAs, admins, realtors, we have, uh, you know, this is the process from the database. We go to the ISA, the admin, and then the realtor shows the home. So this is my system right here, you guys. This is my process. If you guys want to screenshot this, go for it. Because our database manager does this. Then our ISAs do this. Then our admins do this, and then the realtor does that. All I do is show homes, negotiate, go to listing appointments, close the deal. That is our job, literally. Everything else should be leveraged out. Everyone, uh, can you go back? To, can you go back to that one? I want people to take a picture of that one. Really, yeah, quick. please do. There we go. That gives us enough tasks, notes. All right, everyone, take a snapshot of that because it's a, it's a really good graphic to be able to outline the things that you can shoot for like this is this is exactly. what it should look like and look use it as inspiration too when you look at this see what you can change or what what you can add to it right make it yours but this is a great exactly. you know, this is a great so thing is, to look at and this is what we do here at global solutions basically what we do is we actually help people just do that. We have database managers, ISAs, we wrap them up in one, and our package too has been very popular. We have social media managers, graphic designers that help us as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you guys want some information about this, let me know. But this is exactly what we do to get us to where we want to be, this number right here. And whatever your numbers are, we get them Jackie, to... Uh, Shelly has a great question. Yeah. How, how are the appointments set or tracked in Chime? How is all this done in Chime? 
We track them in the appointment section. We also track them in the lead section where we move them into different pipelines. Remember I showed you guys the pipelines right here where are the pipelines. Um, in the pipelines, we actually move the lead from new lead to follow up to 24 hour follow up, seven day follow up, 30 day follow up. What does that look like? We're very, very um, funnel type, right? When we get a lead on the call, we really dissect the pipelines into different um, categories. So we move them from new lead to converted phone appointment or converted follow up, whatever that might look like. So, you know, Shelly, call me if you need to need any, if you have any other questions, they can certainly help you. Do you, do you have any of those pipelines, do you um, have a smart plan that goes out for each one? Sorry, what was that, Trenton? For each of those uh, pipelines, do you have a different smart plan that goes out for each one when they kind of move in, yes. kind of automated? Yes, we do. We do. And most of the times I like to review my smart plans every, probably every two weeks. I go back and review because again, rates are changing, right? Rates are increasing mid-January possibly. We don't know that, but you know, well, we do know that, but what we do is we prepare a week ahead when we know what's going to happen. Sometimes we prepare, we know inventory is low right now. So we prepare ahead of time. What kind of smart plans do we want to send out now? Not all the time am I doing the work, you guys. It's my database manager that writes the smart plans for me, then sends it to me for review, saying, okay, what do you think of this? I review it on my iPad, send it back to her, and that's it. They're yeah. the ones that do the heavy lifting, you guys, really. I like that. So uh, in we're, we're touching two different audiences here. One is those people that that want to go to the next level and be able to hire uh, ISAs or VAs to do graphic designing, editing, all that, and those that can um, can use Brett services as well. And then the other ones, which are newer agents, because we are getting questions like, this is all beautiful, but if I can't afford to do that because I'm brand new, where do I start? And so I'll answer that first, and then you guys can go to where, wherever you think that can be. But if I'm looking at as, as a brand new agent, or a newer agent, and I've got Chime, the best place to go to is this little question mark uh, on the right of Chime, and just go in and say Learning Center. And you've got all of these things you can use here. And then part of that is on YouTube, we also run a lot of these recordings. So different levels, right? Some more new, some more advanced. But that's where, where I would start and know that all of us here, Started in the same place you did. If we didn't, yep. we didn't have we didn't have all of this leverage. I've watched no. junk grow over the last three years, and it's cool to see where she's at with all the leverage she's put in place. So, to answer, there's there's a few of those questions like where do I start as a new agent? Okay, so I uh, I am the king of I I hate calling myself kind of lazy at times, but I'm kind of lazy at times. Um, we do about 400 leads a day organically. And to do that, you'd think requires a huge follow-up. Do you want to know the best place to start where I tell people to start? Go open your screen back up, Tristan. Go go back to Chime. I'm going to, I'm going to show anybody, doesn't matter if you're getting one lead a day or 400 leads a day like we're getting, pull your, uh, pull your share screen up. Start with that dollar sign. Oh, dude, you got 16 sitting right there. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay. So do you I know, see right? the, Oh, my God. Oh, I'm starting to freak out a little, Tristan. I'm warming up. Start sweating, <laughs> okay. baby. Yeah, see those yellows? <laughs> yeah. If you yeah. see yellow or green, go do something with those leads yep. immediately. Yep. See, so if you see it. yellow, Chime has raised its hand and said, Hey, this person's yep. doing something on your site you should pay attention to. Yes. Tristan, scroll through those 16. I want to see if you have a green in there somewhere. Because if you have a green, you and I are going to have a chat. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Uh, no, no greens. Okay, good. If, no if greens, my no house good. was burning down right now, <laughs> and there was a green in there. I would do the Hold on, let me I'd go find deal with that green before I get out of my house. Green yeah, is I'm telling the you that there is money on the line. Right. So if you want to close more deals today so you can afford doing cool stuff like what Jockey's getting to do, here's what you're going to do. You're going to live in that opportunities tab. Mm -hmm. Do if there's a yellow in there, go do it. Go do mm -hmm. something with it. Reach out to that lead. If there is a green in there and you're not following up with the green, my wife. Had, had a green in hers the other day 
And we sat down and we had a chat because it was in oh, there for what? like two days. And I was like, honey, I love you. I know there's a lot going on in our life right now. However, there was a dream left in here. And she's like, are you like holding me accountable? I'm like, yes. <laughs> I love so, so true. So know, true. Start there. Opportunity. The funds to be able to do all the cool stuff like Jonky's doing, which I love. Um, so yeah, there you go. Hope that helped. You know, opportunities, it's so, that's so awesome, Brett, that you brought that up because again, it's opportunities section of your time. There's so many different, and that's the first thing that, and the last thing we look at every single day is what are the opportunities coming back? You also will see people that will say, hey, request for showing, uh, touring, uh, you know, request for a tour. And those are the people that, you know, either you pick up your phone and dial or you get someone to do it for you, but you got to call those people. And it's a simple script. Hey, I see that you're browsing on our website. We'll brought you to our website today. Something simple, very simple, you know, find out and go from a questions angle uh, right off the bat. One last thing, Trenton, anything you want to add so you can give people some chance to click on those links too? Yeah, I would just say it's in addition to the opportunities tab um, under reporting, there's the activities timeline mm -hmm. that will give you a real time update of what's going on in your site, what uh, leads or clients are doing on your site. Are they viewing properties, saving properties? And, you know, the opportunity section basically calls that out as well. Um, so start there and um, you'll be on your road to success there. Yep. I love that. All right, everybody. Thank you. We had a good crowd today. We appreciate you. Any questions you have, Brett, Jonky, or Trenton have the answers, so be able to message them. And if you're not in the Facebook group, jump in there as well. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. guys. Thank you. Bye.